Hey everyone, Gary Simon here of Corsetro. Yeah, I'm kind of sick right now, but I'm gonna try to uh, get through this tutorial as best I can. Um, you know, my wife, she complains about me being a baby when I'm sick, and I think she's more like Kathy Bates in that movie where she f***s up that dude unnecessarily. Anyhow, um, we're gonna cover just a real quick sort of topic here, although it, it can be a very big topic. I, in fact, I created a course at, uh, at Pluralsight.com um, and this is called Post CSS, and it's been around for a while. You may have heard about it, but if not, it's worth taking a look. So Post CSS allows you to transform CSS with a large variety of Post CSS plugins. And uh, by the way, I have a written version of this, of this tutorial, and you can see it in the description here on YouTube. Um, and this link here, it's gonna show you all of these plugins that are created by third parties, and these are all CSS specific plugins and they can handle a variety of tasks as you can see here they're grouped into different categories like future CSS syntax fallbacks language extensions colors images fonts grid, grids optimize <laughs> you understand it I mean just a ton there's hundreds of pl uh, plugins here that you can use so I'm I'm gonna show you how to get up and running and how to integrate just a few plugins and then you can go from there I'm obviously not gonna cover all of these okay so I to get started here, let's go to our console here, and uh, we're going to keep things simple, and we're going to stay away from using any type of framework, whether that be through CSS or JavaScript. We're just going to need Node.js. Oh, but real quick, before we begin, make sure you check out my site, Coursetro.com, where you're going to find a bunch of courses on modern design and development. A lot are free, and the others you can access for the cost of buying me like a six-pack each month. That's it. Now also, it probably wouldn't hurt to subscribe here on YouTube and be sure to make sure the notifications are turned on. All right, let's get back to it. Um, to install post CSS and our task runner gulp. So, you know, I do this every video it seems like, but just to check if you have it, it's node hyphen V. And then if you don't, if this goes unrecognized, just go to nodejs.org, download it for your um, operating system, reload your console, and then you can run this command and you'll be good to go. At that point, let's create a new folder. I'm just going to call PCSS for post CSS. And we're going to jump into it after it creates it. And then we're going to create a package JSON file for storing our project dependencies. So npm init. Why? Because I don't want to answer all these questions. Um, and then we're going to install gulp and post CSS with the node package manager. So npm install, or you could just use i gulp and then gulp post CSS, save dev, and then that's going to go ahead and install that real quickly in our project folder. And also of note, post CSS can also be used with a bunch of other task runners, not just gulp. So check out their GitHub page for more details and in the written version of this tutorial, you can find that. Um, so <clears throat> let's go ahead and set up the actual task runner. So I'm using Visual Studio Code for my code editor, and so that means I can hit code or type code and then a period, and then my uh, editor will load up. Unfortunately, it's off screen. Get it situated here. All right, cool. And then um, let's go ahead and create a gulp file.js like that. Okay, so we're going to get started here with real simple stuff. I'm just going to paste in some of this. Um, so uh, Control B, by the way, gets rid of that sidebar. So the first thing, we're creating two variables for post CSS, and this is one of the two packages that we just installed, and then also gulp itself, which is the task runner. Now, we're going to create a, uh, first I'm going to kind of work backwards. By the way, all this code is in the written version. So the default task right here, that's going to allow us just to type gulp in the command line, and then it's telling it, it it'll run the task of serve. So let's create serve. All right, so what's happening here? We're naming this gulp task. The first argument here is serve, and that's what this is in relation to. So it's gonna run this. It's gonna pass in another task that's not yet defined that we will shortly called CSS. All right, and then it's gonna watch our gulp, or it's gonna gulp watch our, uh, any CSS file in the CSS folder. All right, so let's create the CSS task right there. And again, we're naming it CSS. This is what this here is in reference to. And then we have a, um, an array right here. And this is where we're going to reference our post CSS plugins that we want to use based on the needs of our project, All right? And then 
I, what we do is we return gulp source of any CSS file, then we use the pipe method to, po to pass in post CSS. This is where post CSS is actually used in our task runner. And then we're going to put in an array here, this uh, plugin array. And then after post CSS has ran all of those plugins, and you could use just one or a bunch of them, it's going to, um, after it transforms them, it's going to put them in a folder uh, with the same name uh, in a destination folder. So let's create that CSS folder real quickly. And uh, we'll create a file um, inside of it called main.css. Again, you can name it whatever you want. All right, so now at this point, nothing is going to actually happen. Uh, so <clears throat> what you need to do is figure out, you know, based on your needs of your project, what is it that you want? And so this is where you revert back to that plugins list. Um, and right here, there's some, uh, th these packs contain a lot of different really useful things. Um, the first one I want to use is called auto prefixer. There it is, and it's under fallbacks. And this adds vendor prefixes for you using data from caniuse.com. All right, so how will we actually use this? All right, well first, you know, and by the way, the, the process, process of integrating these plugins is pretty much the same across all of them. Uh, we're gonna do it twice just so you get some muscle memory. So to install, and by the way, if you click on like, you know, in this case, we wanna use it, we click on the link, it's gonna take you to, you know, the information page about this. So the first step here, we're going to install it with NPM. So NPM install and auto prefixer and save it as a dev dependency. All right, so momentarily it's going to install. And this, we can just go ahead and we don't even have to wait for this. Just go back here, control B. And next we need to declare it as a variable here. So we're gonna say var auto prefixer let me just copy that right here. Equals require the same thing. Okay, then we simply reference that via uh, that variable. I was about to say vehicle. What am I talking about? Right here, and that's it. It is that simple. So let's see I, if it actually works. And so if we go back to the auto prefixer page, there we are. It'll show you, um, you can write your CSS rules without vendor prefixes. So it makes your life a little bit simpler. I'm gonna copy this example and it should transform it to this. And if it does, then we know post CSS and all that stuff is set up correctly. So let's go to, um, let's see, our control B. We'll go in our main CSS file. We're going to save it. And then we go back to our console and we simply type gulp. All right, so now we go back to our, uh, let's go right back to our code editor. Now we see this new destination folder and we see main.css and there we go. Awesome, so like I mentioned, let's do another one. So what does it take to use multiple post CSS plugins simultaneously? So <clears throat> if we go back to that list real quickly, assuming I still have it up and of course I don't. Yeah, there it is. Um, let's use a plugin pack. So these are under packs. And uh, CSS Nano is a pack that contains plugins that optimize your CSS size for use in production. So it's going to you know, minimize the size of your, uh, your CSS, which is obviously very, very important, especially for Google. So <clears throat> to get started, again, same exact thing. So let's go back to our, let's hit Control C to get out of there. We're gonna type in NPM I for shorthand install CSS Nano save dev we're going to assume it will install just perfectly fine we're going to go back here to our gulp file and hit or shift alt in the down arrow key css nano css nano here oops there we go and then simply separate it with comma css nano and we're done awesome so now if we go back to by the way let me uh, split this real quick. I'll take this, hit Control B, get this over here. We'll go back to our destination. Yeah, and then we'll bring this guy over here. Okay, and then if I type gulp, you're going to see that this destination file 
will automatically change because it's going to minify it uh, using that CSS Nano. So now gulp, I was using the up arrow key by the way, and there we go. So now it's just made our uh, CSS file smaller and ran that. And that, my friends, is all it takes. So obviously very simple to use. You can even create your own post CSS plugins if you have like an ultra specific use case that isn't already covered in the existing plugins list. That would be hard to imagine, but you know, that's how essentially other developers have been able to create their own, all these post CSS plugins. But unfortunately, I'm not gonna be covering that here as that would be better suited for its own tutorial. Like I mentioned, I, I have created a course in the past at Pluralsight.com that actually does cover that topic if you wanna check it out. Um, but yeah, so, and by the way, I'll just show you real quickly that that uh, page um, where you can find this at. And this is, again, this is at the official GitHub uh, post CSS page. You can find this um, this URL right here. It tells you all about how to write your own post CSS plugin. There's a tutorial, plugin boilerplate, and there's a very, a very ex uh, extensive API um, that allows you to traverse over your CSS. All right, guys, I look out for more content soon. Hopefully I get better. This is horrible. And I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.